Hello, this is Jacqueline from Jack Knits, where I do instructional videos all about knitting and crocheting. Today we are going to learn how to do the double crochet stitch. It is one of the foundational basic stitches you'll need to learn as a beginner crocheter. So let's begin. Okay, so let's learn how to do the double crochet stitch. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that stitch, but equally as important, I'm going to explain very clearly where you're going to put your double crochet in the very first stitch of every row and the very last stitch of every row. That is a issue that many new crocheters um, get messed up with, so I want to make sure it's very clear on which uh, stitches you are going to be using. And there's actually two different ways to do it. I'm going to show you both ways. Okay, so let's start our project with every crochet project. We're going to start with a foundational chain. So let's start by making a slip knot to start that chain. We're going to take our yarn, wrap it over our fingers like this. So we're making a loop or a circle. Bring that yarn behind your circle and then grab that yarn with your hook. Make it tight and then pull on your working yarn so it comes snug up to your hook. Give it a little breathing room. Don't make it too tight, but enough where you can uh, use that, that loop for future stitches. Okay, then we're going to make some chains and we're going to do that by wrapping our yarn from underneath over the top of our hook and then go through that uh, knot or that loop that you made with your slip knot. And that is our first chain. Let's go underneath our yarn again, grab that yarn and pull it through. That's a second chain underneath, pull through, etc. We're going to keep doing this till we have enough chains to make a little swatch of double crochet. So let me do 15 stitches here to uh, show you how to do the double crochet. So this is the chain again that we're doing. Let's do 15. Let's count here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, so fifteen stitches is what we want to do for our swatch. Now, to start a double crochet stitch, we're going to actually chain a couple more stitches before we begin our double crochet, and that's just to give it a little bit of height uh, when we turn our work. Uh, so it lines up nicely on the edges. So we're going to chain three additional stitches. One, two, and three, or three additional chains. And our very first stitch that we're going to work into with our double crochet is going to be the, actually the fourth stitch or the fourth chain on the hook. So we're not doing those three additional chains we just did. We're going to skip those, one, two, three, and work into this stitch right here. And when I say working into that stitch, we're going to insert our hook right in the center of that chain, picking up that top loop, okay? But we're going to start our double crochet with a yarn over. So every double crochet starts with a yarn over, insert your hook into that fourth chain from the end, do another yarn over, so layer yarn over your hook, and bring it through that chain you just inserted. So now you have three loops on your hook. We'll do another yarn over. We'll go through just the first two loops on our hook. Now we've got two remaining. Do another yarn over and go through those remaining two. That is the double crochet stitch. Let's do that a few more times so you can get the hang of it. The yarn over to start. We're gonna go into the next stitch. Here's the stitch we just worked in, that gap. We're gonna go into the next stitch, insert it, grab that yarn, pull it through, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Start again, yarn over, insert our hook, do another yarn over or just simply grab that yarn, pull it through the, the stitch, another yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through the remaining two. Okay, yarn over, insert, yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. All right, we're going to do that to the end of this chain. We're going to make our last stitch in this first uh, chain down here. So just make sure that you are catching that last stitch. Let's go all the way to the end here with these double crochets. 
we should have 15 total stitches when we're done. Okay, here we're nearing the end. You can see we've got two chains left. Here's our last chain. And we should have 15 completed double crochets. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that is the correct number. You always kind of, it's a good idea to count your stitches with the end of that first row just to make sure that you got every stitch. Okay, now here is the very important part about turning your work for the very first time. We're gonna start by doing two additional chains. Now many instructional videos will say for double crochet to do three for that turning chain. That's what we're calling these two extra stitches. But I found that that gives a little bit of a gap at the end of each row. So I like to do only two chaining stitches and I think that just makes for a little cleaner edge. But you can do either two or three, it's your preference. And then we're going to turn our work and at this point we need to make a decision and that decision is going to um, determine where we put the very first double crochet of our row and where we put our last one that decision is this does this chain two which is called our turning chain does that count as a stitch or does it not if the answer is yes that counts as a stitch that means that our very first double crochet is not going to be in this first working stitch that we have here. It's going to go into the second stitch. The reason is because this stitch, this double two chain counts as a stitch. So that is the stitch occupying that first stitch hole. So we need to make our first double crochet in that second full stitch of the row. Okay. It's also going to determine where you put your last stitch of the subsequent rows. So because we're counting this as our first stitch, that means that our, when we come back to the stitch coming back, we want to make sure our last stitch is in that turning chain. So to help us remember this, and um, I would encourage you to do this if you're a beginner, is use some stitch markers. Uh, they're little plastic stitch markers like this. You can pick them up at any craft store. Put a stitch marker in the top of that turning chain right here and that's going to remind you when you come back to this turning chain at the end of the next row that that is where you need to put your last stitch of the row okay if you don't do that it, it's sometimes hard to see and you kind of miss that last stitch so there let's do that let's put that marker there that's at the top of our turning chain and now we're going to make our first double crochet. Now on this row, on our foundational row, we were only picking up that top leg of the stitch when we did our stitch. Now for this next row, we're going to be, do you see the, the V's of the stitches? We're going to actually go through both legs of the V to pick up our stitch for the uh, double crochet. Okay, so as we've discussed, since this is counting as a, as a stitch, we're not going to insert our first stitch here. We are going to insert our first stitch into the next stitch okay so let's start with a yarn over like we do for a double crochet not in this stitch but go into this second full stitch of your row insert your hook grab that yarn pull it through yarn over go through two yarn over go through two double crochet so now we've actually completed two stitches that first stitch which was our chain turning chain and our first double crochet now we're going to do another one, yarn over, insert into the next, go under both legs, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, next stitch, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so let's continue to do those double crochet stitches to the very last stitch, which is going to be this last full double crochet that we did. Okay, and then we're going to turn our work and show you how to end that next row.
All right, we're nearing our end. You can see that I've got two full stitches left to complete. There's that one. And here's the last stitch here. So yarn over, let's go through that last stitch. Okay, so we should now still have 15 stitches. Let's uh, do another count, shall we? Just to make sure. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then this one is our last one. That was our churning chain that counts as a stitch, so we want to count that. That's number fifteen. Okay, so now we need to make sure we are doing a double crochet all the way back, including this last stitch here from the double or from the turning chain. So let's again chain two and turn. Here again, you might want to uh, put a stitch marker on the top of that turning chain, just to remind us that that is the very first stitch of our row. Consequently, that's gonna be the last stitch of our next row. Okay, that's gonna help us remember that. Now let's do a double crochet to the end of this row. Again, because that is counting as a stitch, we're not going to put our needle in, or our hook into this first full stitch, not into here, but into our second full stitch. So yarn over, skip this one, go into this one. Let's continue the double crochets, and then I'm going to show you exactly where we're going to put that last stitch. It's going to be in that turning chain at the end. Okay, here we're coming to our last double crochet stitch that we did in the row. So we're going to do this stitch. And now we can't forget about our turning chain. That was the first stitch. We called it as a stitch. So now we've got to make sure we are stitching into that stitch as well. That's going to be the last stitch of our row. So let's do a yarn over and go right in where we put that stitch marker, the top of that turning chain. Okay, now we're going to chain two again and turn. You can again put another stitch marker into that turning chain to remind you. If you don't have any uh, that many stitch markers, just pull up this one from below and, and use that one. And now let's go back and do a yarn over, skip this first stitch, go into this next stitch. And when we get to the end of this row, we'll chain in that top of that turning chain again. All right, we're nearing the end of our work here. So all the last stitch we wanna do is in this top of the turning chain, right where we put our stitch marker as a reminder so let's go right into that top of the stitch. Now, as you get more advanced and you've uh, done this a few times, you're gonna be able to recognize that top of that chain too without that stitch marker. Um, so you don't always need to use these stitch markers, but when you're first starting out, it's a great tool so you don't forget to grab those. Okay, so then we're just gonna continue doing that, making sure we're grabbing that for last stitch of the stitch marker. Now, I had mentioned that there are two different ways to do that first and last stitch, all based on that decision whether that chain two counts as a stitch. So I'm going to show you now if you decide that that chain two or chain three, that turning chain, does not count as a stitch. Um, and that is perfectly fine, but that will change where you put your first and last stitch. So let's just backtrack here. Let's uh, pull this out until we get to our first row here. And I'm going to show you where you put your stitches if that turning chain does not count as a turning or as a stitch. Okay? So here we've completed our last stitch of our first row and we're ready to do that turning chain. One, two. Now, let's now say our answer to that question, does this turning chain count as a stitch? And now we're gonna say, no, it does not count as a stitch. It's just gonna be the turning chain at the end of the row. It does not count as a stitch. So in that case, our very first stitch of this next row is gonna be in this very first full stitch because this is not counting as a stitch. We need to put a stitch in that first stitch. 
So let's do a double crochet in that very first stitch. Okay, and now we can proceed with the rest of the row. Um, and that's, but this now is also going to tell you where to put your last stitch in the row. It's not going to be in that turning chain. It's just going to be in the full, very first full stitch. So to kind of help you remember that, we can now put a stitch marker in the top of this very first stitch we do. And that's going to remind us that our first stitch of the next row is going to be in this stitch, not the turning chain anymore. Okay, so now let's go into the next stitch. Continue down this row with double crochets. Um, at the end, we're going to just end our double crochet on that last full stitch. And then I'm going to show you how to end it when we come back uh, the other way. Okay, here comes our last stitch. The last full V that you see there. And now let's count our stitches again on this row just to make sure we've got 15 and we're counting this one as now our last stitch. So here let's count. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and now this one is our last one. We're not counting that chain at the at the end. Okay, so now let's go all the way back. We're going to chain two and turn, but now we're not counting that as a stitch, so we need to put our first double crochet in that very first full stitch right there. And let's double crochet to the end, and we'll show you where to put that last stitch. And you can probably guess it, it's in that where we put that stitch marker, it's not in the turning chain. Okay, here we're approaching the end. You can see that I've got two full stitches. This is going to be our last stitch where we put that stitch marker. It is not going to be in the chaining, uh, turning chain because we are not counting that as a stitch. So we're going to put our last stitch in this last double crochet that we did. Okay, so now we can turn our work and continue to now insert our first stitch in the very first full stitch of each row and our last stitch is going to be in the last full double crochet stitch not the turning chains because this time we are not counting that turning chain as a stitch so there's two different ways so if you have seen videos showing where to put the first and last stitch and they're showing it in two different ways and that's been confusing to you that is why it's based on whether or not you are counting that turning chain as a stitch. So you may wonder, does that change the way my finished project looks? Not too much, really. Um, it is a swatch different look. This is a swatch where I did not count the turning chain as a stitch. Um, it really produces a nice straight edge, but there is a little bit of a, a kind of a bulge here on the edge, and that's because that turning chain is kind of an extra thing there on the edge. It's not a stitch, but it's an extra little edge, so you can sometimes see a little bulge. This is a swatch where I am counting the turning chain as a stitch, and you can see too that that is a nice straight edge. Um, not much of a bulge there, but you do have to remember make that last stitch in that turning chain because it, this counts as a stitch. Okay, so there is how to do the double crochet stitch and how to do the first and last stitch of each row. I hope that explains things. That was a real aha moment when I finally understood that it made my crochet stitches and uh, projects much more cleaner and neater, neater, and I always ended up with the same stitch count. A great way to a great thing to remember and learn for future projects. I hope you found this helpful. If you if so, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. You'll receive more videos all about crocheting and knitting. I hope you continue to join me. Thanks for watching, everybody. Happy crocheting!